everyone welcome to our next video and today we are going to start chapter 5 of advanced mathematics of class 10 that is applications of common logarithm so before we start if you have not watched the video of how to use the log table and the anti log table i will give a link in the description and i will add one card up here so that you can go ahead and check that video and if you already know how to use the log and anti log table then without wasting any more time let's get started start with question number one which asks us a very simple question that is to find the characteristics of these logarithms so as we know if you have seen that video and if you know how to use the log table uh, so here we are starting off with question number one and it asks a very simple question is to find the characteristic of these logarithms so characteristic is a very simple concept if you have seen that video then you know how to find characteristics so if the number is greater than 1, then we have one formula. And if the number is less than 1, then we have another formula. So the formula is n minus 1 in case of numbers greater than 1. And the formula is negative of n plus 1 if the number is less than 1. So let's consider this one. What will be the characteristic? Here the number is 6987. So as there is no decimal point, so we have to count all the 4 digits. So it is 4, 4, 4 digits, minus 1, minus 1, that is 3, the characteristic is 3. So why I counted all the 4? Because we only count the numbers before the decimal point. So since in this number there is no decimal point, that means the decimal point is obviously here, it is point 0, which we have not written because there is no need to write point 0. So that means there are 4 digits before the decimal point, which is supposed to be here. So we count the four digits and subtract one from it, we get characteristic 3. Let's move on to this one. And in this case, the characteristic will be here we have a number less than 1, that is 0.000089. In this case, we will count the number of zeros after the decimal point. Okay? So after the decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four zeros are there. So let's write 4. This time we will add 1. So we will write plus 1, but on a negative sign. That means the characteristic will be minus 5. Pretty simple, right? So let's move on to the next one. Here, characteristic will be again the number is more than 1, it is 4.6 is greater than 1. So as it is greater than 1, what will happen? I will have, I have to count the number of digits before decimal point. So before decimal point, there is only one digit. So it is 1 and minus 1, which is 0. So it is already 0 characteristics. In case of log 1, again you will see characteristic. This, this is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to 1 obviously. So now how many digits are there before decimal point? Only 1. So decimal point is here which we don't write. So we remove this one and we have 1. So this is the number of digits is 1 minus 1 which is 0 again. Now let's move on to this one. In this case what will be the characteristic? This number is less than 1. So in case of less than 1 what we do is we will count the number of zeros right after the decimal point. So number of zeros is 1 and 2. Now we will not count this zero. Okay, so don't be confused about any zero in between the two non zero digits. We will only count the number of zeros right after the decimal point before we reach any non zero number. Non zero number means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those 9 digits. So here before reaching 3, the first non zero digit, the number of zeros only those will be counted. So right after the decimal point, 1, 2 digits are there. So 2 zeros means we will write 2 add 1 to it and we will have negative that is minus 3 and which is minus 3 so that is the formula it is if the number is greater than 1 formula is let me write here if the number is greater than 1 then formula is characteristic will be n plus n minus 1 and if the number is less than 1 then the characteristic will be negative of n plus 1 ok so this that's the formula that we use and that's the formula that I have explained earlier in the previous video so hope you understood one. Let's move into question number two. So now we are with question number two, and let's see the question. A well is given. If log of 2925 is 3.46612, then find these three values. Now there are four values given in the question which you have to find. I have chosen three, I have left the last one for you so that you can understand this and try it by yourself on the last one. So let's see how to do this one. In case of this, what we are going to do, we are trying to convert this number into this number which is given so that we can use the given value. So in order to convert 29.25 into 2925, what can we do? We 
we can write log of 2925 into 10 to the power minus 2. This is what we can write. We are shifting the point two places towards the right so that we can get the power minus 2. I hope this is clear. This is class uh, 6 or 7 stuff where we understand exponents. So converting 29.25 into 2925 into 10 to the power minus 2. That means log of m into n. Log of m into n means log of m plus log of n. So it will be log of 29.25 plus log of 10 to the power minus 2. Sorry, not 29.25. Plus, this is only minus 2. Now, uh, we can write 3.46612 minus 2. So, the answer will be 1.46612. Okay, very simple calculation. Just convert this given value. So, we will do the same for this one and the same for this one. We will convert this given value into the value that is already known. Okay, so let's try with this one. So, in this case, what we will do? Again, log of, we will convert this into 2925, which is given. And what we have to do here, since we have shifted the decimal point 1, 2, and 3 places, we will write power is minus 2. So, now let's go ahead. It will be log of 2925 plus log of 10 to the power minus 3. The log of 2925 is 3.46612 plus minus 3 of log 10. So, now it will be and this is plus minus minus 3 and log 10 is 1. So we can get the answer 0.46612. Second answer. Now let's move on to the third one. And what we get from here is this is less than 1. So we have to convert it again. If we convert it to 2925, 2925 into 10 to the power, what will it be? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So it will be minus 6. Okay. I hope it's clear. If this is not clear, then kindly go back to your previous classes. Okay, you are doing advanced mathematics, so I hope you understand this one. So let's go. 2925 plus log of 10 to the power minus 6. So 2925 is 3.46612 plus of minus 6 into log 10. And log 10 to 1. So it is 3.46612. Minus 6. Now let's do something here. So we'll be minus 6 here plus 3.46612. What you can write is minus 6 plus 3 plus 0.46612. That means minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 plus 0.46612. The answer will be 3 bar 0.46612. So this is something that you have done already in class 9. Where if the number is negative of some number added to another decimal number, then so this number can be written as 3 bar. Bar means it is already added as minus 3. Okay? So that's how we express the logarithm because it's a standard form of expressing. So that's how we solve question number 2. I hope you understand very simple stuff. Let's move on to question number 3. So now in order to solve question number 3, we are going to need an anti-log table because what we are trying to do is find the anti-log with the help of table. So these are the values for which you have to find the anti-log and here we have our anti-log table so I would like you to take out the anti-log table so that you can understand how we solve this. So let's start. So we want to find the anti-log of this number. So anti-log of 3.1465. So if you have seen the previous video, you know how it log works. This 3 is going to be the characteristic. And we have to find the value of 0.1465. So we will divide it into two parts, three parts, 1, 4, 6 and 5. So in the table, we will first go into the first section of the log table and we will search for 0.14. So in the first section, if you look closely, in this first section, we will search for 0.14. So in the deep blue in my block table, in the deep blue section search for 0.14. So let's search for 0.14. So here we have got 0.14. I don't know if it's going to be clear, but yeah, that's how you search for it. Okay. So 0.14. Then we we'll go for 6. So in this one, this space, search for 6. 
so here we have got 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 4.14 comes to the place under 6 so and see the value what is written here so the value that we have is 13996 note it down note it down as 13996 now we need another number that is 5 and 5 is going to be the mean differences it is written mean differences at the right most corner so now search for 5 here we have 1 2 3 4 and we have 5 so under 5 match with 0.14 and you will get 16 so take out your block table you will find 16 now you add these two so you have 12, 1, 8, 10, 11, 1, 10, 1, 4, 1. So you have 1, 4, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so 1, 4, 0, 1, 2, let's write 1, 4, 0, 1, 2. So we are done with this part. Now, now look into this. This is an important part. Try to understand why this happens, where we are going to place a decimal point. Because according to formula, it is easy. You just know the formula, you put it. What is the formula? The formula is in the characteristic is uh, any number greater than 1. We have to put this greater than 1, 3. So any number greater than 1, what we have to do? Put the decimal point at n plus 1. So n plus 1 means it is 3. So put it after 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. Put it here. So that is the answer. Okay, that's cool. You put the point after 3 plus 1 digits. So we took the characteristic as 3. We added 1 to it. We got 4. And we have placed the decimal point after 4 digits. But why is it 4? Why do we do n plus 1? So let's understand that part. See, as the value is 3.1465, we have to find the nth log number, not the log. That means this is already the value of some logarithm. Let the number be x. Maybe suppose the number was x. We found the log of that number to be 3.1465. Right? So since the log of the value is 3.1465, that means the characteristic was obviously 3. If you see how to find, if you know how to find out logarithm, that is, that means if the characteristic that we get, we we'll always get it at the first before the decimal point, right? The characteristic is always get it before the decimal point. So that means in this number, this is the logarithm of some number whose anti log we are trying to find. So this number already which is the logarithm has 3 before the decimal point. That means its characteristic, the original number's characteristic must have been 3. That means in order to have, in order for a number to have 3 as its characteristic, where must its decimal point be? Its decimal point must be 4 places after the or 4 digits after which the decimal point should be placed. So in this case, we have the number as 14012. That means that is the original number whose logarithm is this number and the antilog of this number should be this I hope it is making sense to you this is the logarithm of a number which we have found now we are trying to find the antilog of this number so antilog means we are trying to find the antilog of a number which is already a logarithm so logarithm of a number has 3 in its beginning that means the characteristic of the original number must have been 3 now this is the original number because we have found the value now this original number has a characteristic of 3. Now in order for any number to have 3 as its characteristic, it must have its decimal point after 4 digits. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Got. That's why we have placed the decimal point here after 4 digits. That's why the formula is n plus 1 and not n minus 1 or n or anything else. It is always n plus 1 because of this one. I hope you understood this. If you have not understood, try and watch it on repeat. Watch the previous video as well because there also uh, you can get a connection between these two things that I just spoken just now. Okay, so I hope you understood this one. That is the answer. And if you want it to be simple, if you don't want any of this complex stuff, you think that okay, I just want to know the answer, then this is the formula. N plus 1. Find the characteristic, characteristic is 3, add 1 to it, count the number of digits and place the point. This is the simplest way of doing it. If you don't want to fall into any type of uh, concept understanding, just if you want to know what to do, then just go for the formula, you will get the answer. No words. But I would prefer that students should go for the concept of why are we doing n plus 1. In order to understand the formula, it will allow even if you forget the formula, because there is a majority of chance, maximum chance that during the exam you will be confused about whether it was n plus 1 or whether it was n minus 1. At that point of time, we have the concept as to what we are doing right here. Why is n plus 1 or why is n minus 1? 
then you will not require the formula. Even without the formula, you can find out. So that is why I prefer the students should students should prefer or go for concept learning and not formula and memorizing. Okay, so keeping that aside, let's move on to this one. We need to find the antilog of this. So we are doing anti antilog of one part eight six two one. That means it is antilog of minus one plus zero point eight six two one. So in this case, minus one is the uh, characteristic. So what we need to find the value? We need to find this point eight six two one. That means eighty six two and one. So in the first plane, first plane we are going to search for eighty six. So if you take out your uh, log table, empty log table, and see whether your value matches with mine, that means you understand whether you are doing it correctly or not. So search for point eight six. I got my point eight six right somewhere out here. Then I have to look for its two. It is zero one two. So two is seven. Seven seven six. Okay. Oh, first seven two seven seven eight. It's eight. And then you have to search for one. That is the mean difference. Search for one in the mean difference. So the mean difference along the first value. First value is seventeen. So it is five. It is eight. It is nine. It is seven two seven. So it is answer is seven two seven nine five. Okay. Now the characteristic is minus one. Characteristic is minus one means the number originally had a characteristic of minus one. Now for any number to have a characteristic of minus one, after how many digits should the point be? How many? Since it is minus one, it means it was a number less than one. So it was a number less than one means the formula was minus of n plus one. Remember the formula of finding characteristic. Minus of n plus one means that the number here. Should become will give us the value of minus one. So let's find out this value of n. Okay, I'm again going for the concept, right? So we're trying to find minus minus cancel. It will be n plus one equal to one. That is n equal to one minus one. That is zero. So that means the number of digits or the number of zeros after the decimal point will be none. No zero should be there after the decimal point. That means the answer will be two point. Decimal will be here. It is zero point seven two seven nine five. So that is the answer. Now, how do you get where to put the decimal point? How many? Take out the characteristic, which is one. Subtract one from it. You will get zero. That is the formula. That is n minus one. N minus one is the formula. So, if you want the formula, that is the formula. Let's find the characteristic. If it is a negative characteristic, you take the, just the value. Just take the value. That is one, not the sign. Take the value and subtract one from it. If it is two, then you will take. If it is minus two, you will do two minus one, and you will get one. This is the number of zeros after decimal point. So put the point in front. So since we found the answer as one minus one, it was zero. That means the number of zeros after decimal point will be none. There will be no zero. That means just before seven, put the decimal point. So this is the value. Since we know that the characteristic being negative, the original number must be less than one. So this is point seven something. That means it is less than one. So we are correct. Let's move on to the last one. This is a bit different, although it seems like this one is negative. This one is also negative. We have to do some changes here. What we will do? We have empty log of minus two point seven nine one seven. So it cannot have this mantissa as negative. So what we have to do? Look at this. We need to write minus two minus zero point seven nine one seven. So this part is the mantissa, right? Mantissa can never be negative. This is the characteristic. This is the mantissa. So we need to get the mantissa positive. Once we get the mantissa as positive, then this will be the characteristic. So let's bring make the mantissa positive. So how to get the mantissa positive? We can write this as minus three plus one. Minus two can be written as minus three plus one because this is minus two, and we have minus zero point seven nine one seven. Okay. Now what we need to do? Minus three plus one means okay. Let's take it minus three. One minus this. That means we need to find the subtraction of this. So it is plus. So let's find out three. Well, we have nine minus one eight. We have nine minus nine zero. We have two zero point two zero eight. That means it is empty log of three bar point two zero eight. So now we need to find the since the empty side has become positive now. Now we can find the empty log. Take the log table. 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 Take
Take the table. Search for 28 and 3. 28 and 3. So let's start. Let's go for 20. 20. Then we have to find 8. That is 16144. 16144. And then we have to find 3. So where do we have it? 16144 and then we have to go for 3. That is 11. So it is 16155. So this is 16155. So the characteristic is minus 3. Characteristic is negative of 3. So if the characteristic is negative of 3, if you want to see the formula, just like I showed you right now, the formula will be take the value, just take the value of the characteristic, that is 3, and subtract 1 from it, that is 2. So number of zeros before decimal point, the after decimal point should be 2. So the answer will be 0 0.00, so 0016. If you go by the concept also, you will get the same thing. Since the characteristic is minus 3, minus 3, that means the original number must have had two digits. Because if this is the original number and there are two zeros, then you see it will be one digit, two digit, and three digit, and you will get the standard form. So if you have seen the previous video, you will understand what I mean by standard form and everything else. So as I have constantly referred to the previous video, please go ahead and check it if you have not watched it. Because otherwise these things will not make any sense to you. So I hope you understood what is the answer, how it came. So in order to go ahead, let's move on to question number four, which is going to be the last question of the day. So we are on to question number four, and it is another very easy question. So a little bit different from question number one, two, and three. So what we are given here, we have given, we have been given log two, log three, and log five, and the values are given, and we have to find these values. Now what we are trying to do here is we are trying to convert these given values into either log two, log three, or log five, along with some extra added uh, parts. So let's see what we get. We have to use these values. Without using these values, you should not find out the values of this. Okay, otherwise you can simply use the log table and find it. There is no problem with this. But since the values are given, you have to use any one or all of these values in order to find it. Okay, so let's find this one. This one you can write log of 2 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3 places minus 3. Write 2 into 10 to the minus 3 is 0.00. That means it will be log 2 plus log of 10 to the power minus 3. Now what is log 2? Log 2 is 0 0.30103 and plus this is minus 3 log 10 is 1. So this will be 3 bar 0.30103. Done. Easy. Let's move on to the next one. Log 25. This one is even easier. It is log 5 square. That means twice log 5. That means 2 into log 5 value we are given with that. It is 0 0.69897 multiplied by 2 is 14, 1, uh, 9, 16, 1.39794, 4, done, very easy. Let's move on to this one, what we are going to do here, we are going to make it 72 into 10 to the power minus 1, okay. Now we are trying to do something different, we are going to factorize everything so that we can get the factors. If we can get the factors in terms of 2, 3 and 5, then we can find the values. So let's just do the factorizing here, that's still simple. 72 will go by 2, it is 36, it will go by 2, it is 3, it will go by 2, it will go by 3, 3. It is 2 cube into t square, right? So let's write 72 as 2 cube into t square. So we can write the power of 2 cube into t square and then add to the power minus 1. That means it is going to be log of 2 cube plus log of 3 square plus log of 10 to the power minus 1. So it is 3 log 2 plus 2 log 3 plus minus 1 log 10. Okay? So 3 into log 2. Log 2 means 0 0.30103 plus 2 into log 3. Log 3 is 0.47712. 10 is 1, so minus 1, but plus, minus, minus, and 1. So let's find this value, this is going to be 0 0.90301, plus 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, 14, 1, 15, 1, 8, 0 0.95425, minus 1. So if we add this up and subtract it from 1, so we get 13, 1, 3, then we have 7, we have 5, 1.3 minus 1. So the answer is 0.5.
zero point eight five seven three three. So that's the value of log seven point two. So this is how we factorize so that we can get the values. We can use these values. Okay. So every time if the values are given like this, don't try to use the log table. Try to divide or split these given numbers into some factors which will allow us to use these numbers. So I hope you understood today's video. A very lengthy video. So we have completed four sums. There are sixteen sums in total. So you will go sixteen questions actually. Sixteen questions in total. So we will do. I have tried to make divide this video into four parts so that we can cover four questions in each video. So thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, cheers.